Topaz in Focus is a Photoshop plugin for sharpening picture and rescue blurred picture. Topaz in Focus has three major features that um, uh, help you sharpen your image. The first uh, way to sharpen your image is to use deep blur. Deep blur is a process that mathematically try to reverse the blurring process and recover detail. Topaz in Focus also have micro contrast enhancement and uh, sharpening. Sharpening has the same sense as a normal sharpening tool uh, in Photoshop. It basically enhances the strength of edges. It cannot recover detail. Micro contrast, instead of enhance edges, it's try to enhance the faint structure. I will show you later on in the example what that means. Now I'm going to show how do I use uh, Topaz in Focus to enhance this picture. This picture I took using Canon 5D. It's a very focused picture, nothing wrong with it, but I can still improve the sharpness of this picture. Even for the high quality lens I'm using, I spent $3,000 on that lens, it's still imperfect. So let's invoke Topaz in Focus. Let's reset all parameter to its default value so nothing happens. To see original picture, you press space bar and hold it. To see the after picture, you release it. Uh, the first thing I do is I try to see whether the blur can make the picture sharper. For small blur, I always choose blur type generic for this type of well-focused picture and then increase blur radius slightly. And you can see the picture get uh, sharper. Let's zoom in. Uh, this is 200%. Uh, uh, have a look at uh, the flag and the structure. Increase a little bit much more. It's sharper, but you can start to see some raining artifact at the edge to increase even further. This is what you get. Very clear indication that uh, your blur reading is too high. In this case, it seems around this value looks good. If you see the people, this is before, this is after. Details start to come out. Uh, I will generally move around uh, this area and see how. So this is after. Press hold the space bar to see before, after and uh, see if it's nothing wrong. Next, I will fine-tune suppress artifact to see whether it can get even better. Reduce suppress artifact will reveal more details. As you can see from the roof, this is before, this is after. Increase suppress artifact. You will have less noise but less detail. For this picture, because the noise level is very low, I use less artifact suppression to so just get extra detail. This is before, this is after. You'll see a lot of details come out. The picture becomes very sharp. So you, you, this is before, this is after. You start to, to even read the word before, after. Let's reduce even more. You can see more details before, after. Uh, as you can see, reducing blur does boost noise. You can either run this picture as uh, Topaz Denoise uh, afterward, or you can try to increase a little bit of suppression artifact and to get a good balance. So this is uh, uh, basically how using the blur rewards the line imperfection to get you a more clear picture, even uh, the pic your picture is well focused. Furthermore, if you, you, you want to do, you can improve uh, other aspects of this pic uh, picture. For example, if you like to, to re increase uh, macro contrast, which will bring out a faint structure. So this is before, this is after. 
if you increase micro contrast, I bring it to the maximum, so just the sort of difference, you will see a lot of uh, uh, small detailed structure comes out. A s slight value on the macro contrast give you a feel of more defined picture. This is before, this is after. Let's zoom out and see it better. So this is before, this is after. You see the color is more defined, every the feature is more defined, and it also doesn't look unnatural. That's it. Uh, I have even got a very, very sharp picture. I think I just get another $3,000 worth of lens upgrade. I would like to show how do I use Topaz in focus to rescue an out-of-focus picture. This one uh, is also taken using Canon 5D. As you can see, it is out of focus. Let's invoke Topaz in focus. Because this is an out of focus image, in deep blur, blur type, I select out of focus. And uh, then I will increase the blur radius. It's getting better, and I keep increasing. Now you see the halo effect, a lot of artifact, that usually means the read is too high, back up a little. The trick is to really match the blur read with the blur size in the picture. Now I think this is probably the best I can get. This is before, this is after. Actually it's quite impressive. Move a little. Before, can you see this uh, the clue line logo, this is after. Zoom in to 100%. So before, after. Next, again, I will adjust, suppress, artifact, reduce it, will get more detail, but also get more noise and artifact. Increase it, will suppress more noise, but uh, also more detail, this is before, after. I would still prefer a little bit uh, uh, more detail and uh, more noise than less detail because I can run Topaz Denoise afterward. Go back to 100%. Look around. This is before, this is after. Look at all the details. And uh, let's have a look at the car. Before and after. I have just uh, rescued a nice picture, but uh, out of focus. To sum it up, first for out of focus picture, you select blur type as out of focus. Uh, then you adjust blur radius to match amount of blur in the image. After that, you adjust suppress artifact to achieve a good balance between detail and uh, an amount of noise. That's it. A word of causes for the blur images. This picture is a, uh, in a very ideal condition. It is a pure out of focus blur. I didn't shake my hand. And uh, the noise level in this picture is uh, quite low. Most blurred picture you don't get at this ideal condition. Sometimes you have both handshake and out of focus, or you get a lot of noise in the picture no deblur technology can rescue that picture. Thank you very much for participating in the evaluation of uh, Topaz in Focus. We really hope this, uh, this software can be, uh, become a very useful tool for you, both just uh, as a general sharpening tool or rescue your out of focus or motion blurred image. Your comment and feedback extremely important for us. For example, you use Topaz in focus on some of your picture. If it works, let us know. If it doesn't, send us your original picture. We will try to find out why it doesn't work, and then we will develop technology to see whether we can make it work. Thanks again. Goodbye.